Hello, welcome to 1869 Farm. It's actually coming on my back though. But, uh, yeah, I was gonna make another video of our walk around. I guess it'll be the, this'll be the third part. Yeah. This actually cutting around this front yard area actually. Really it is. See I was cutting around these uh stumps out front in my front yard. And cutting all up here. What's up, Shaka? What you been doing? Yep, I cut down one of the uh what's these trees called I got here? Uh not, they call them Japan against low quats. I had another one that was right there that wasn't doing so good, you know. So I just cut it down and I just leave that one. So since the winter is gone now, I guess I'll fertilize it, you know, when I do the rest of my trees. So that's a low quat we got up front there. Oh, shaka. Yeah, so I was out here cutting this front part. Cause we had a, a a blueberry bush around this and it was getting so bad looking you know so i didn't want to keep it there my wife and i we said let's just cut it down so sh you know i'm sure some more little b blueberry uh little stalks is still left you know and they'll i guess try to grow up if they look all right i'll keep it but for the most part we say we just gonna knock it down you know and i was cutting over here this ditch area got our rose bush looking good. Look at that. Yeah. I don't let my dog go down the driveway there. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, since I was cutting the grass all around there, I'm going to uh, go around there right now. That's my uh, little, what I call a fake little uh, little pond area. It would be nice if I just dug all that out that's in there. I guess I had to wait till that dried out and then really turn it into a pond. But for now, we just leave it like that. Yeah. Yep, so I was cutting all around, all around town. I'm going to walk out here real quick. See, all I got now left to cut is the backyard area over there. But I mainly cut everything out in these front part. See, all the grass is cut. Cut around all them stumps. And the wood piles. Yep, yep, yep. So the grass is really low now, so it's looking well. So, I'll go that way to the fruit tree area. This is the area I cut over here. I was cutting around those uh, wood piles there. And I managed to cut this all the way back. Uh, you know, to the original part where the, the guy, he was clearing all the brush here. And we told him, we said, uh, why don't you clear out like, uh, you know, an acre and a half for us all around my house here. So from over there where you, you know, we were with a driveway and all around my house is just a whole acre and a half. But, you know, I told you guys before, it's like eight acres that way and another five something, something acres that way. And, you know, it's like a half acre on that side. So, yeah. So, anyway, I was, uh, you know, so the guy pushed everything out the way, all the brush you see here. You know, it was across our whole yard and he pushed all that aside and I guess... 
it piled up, you know, on the edges there. I don't know if you guys can see. So I cut all the way back to that original part where he pushed. So that's good. That's an elderberry tree. Look at all those uh blue blackberries. Blackberries is upon us. The blackberry bushes were right here up front too, but I cut that back. Afterwards, I said, man, I should have left that part there so I could grab them more easy. But, uh, you know, across this whole little back part right here, it's nothing but blackberry bushes. I like coming over here, grabbing them all up. Doop, 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 doop. You know, I had some videos about uh, blackberry foraging. I need to make a berm right there. So yeah, even on this side too, all of that is blackberry bushes as well. I was cutting over here the other day. So you know, whenever the 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 uh, blackberries come, we just kind of come and grab them. You know, I need to chop that up with a uh, uh, my chainsaw and have my son help me pick it up. So yeah, I wanted to have a chicken coop right up in this back area, you know, because it gets a lot of shed right there. Like, see how even you guys right there, it's a lot of shed. But my wife is saying I should have it more uh, toward the house, you know, somewhere. So maybe, you know, I want to find a spot where it's good and nice and shaded. Maybe see in the back of this uh, burn pile right here. In between, it gets a lot of shed there, so I might put it right there. But we'll work it out. So, yeah. So, walking back here all the way to the back. This is the fruit tree area we call back here. All our fruit trees is back here. You guys seen I got a pear tree here. I well, I actually want to get more fruit trees. This is a pomegranate uh plant right here. So we trying to get something going. You know, you always want to plant those things in the ground when you get your home and your homestead going. One of the first things they say is plant those in the ground. So so another pomegranate tree I bought from Home Depot is doing well. This is an elderberry uh, stalk that I got off another elderberry tree around here. See, it's growing. So I'm trying to just, you know, uh, get it going, you know. This is another pomegranate. Lots of pomegranates and citrus. I want orange trees. This one is a, I got this from Home Depot too, a calamondine citrus. Another pomegranate plant right here. What else? Uh, yeah, I always want to, uh, you know, have those going. So, it's another pomegranate. Got a lemon plant there. Yeah, I like to keep my grass cut low. They be having snakes around sometimes. Keep that grass cut, baby. This is the back area, you know, that I hang out in sometimes. Keep it cleared out here, you know. So, yep. Like I say before, my kids mess around on these down tree limbs, so I just leave it like that, you know. I ain't gonna go back there. I went in my last videos in the back. Just go around, cut around this way, yo. All right. So, yeah, they play with that stuff, so I leave it. And that's the whole back area I was talking about. I need to get up in and cut better. I don't want to go with that for right now. But I need to cut that whole... I need to cut the grass more and do a little more uh, 
what is called trimming his trimming back here you see I was back here with the uh with my riding mower see I was cutting back there but I need to you know, you know trim around all this stuff trim around trim around baby and I need to cut like around right here and in that back area so yeah yep 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 We'll see how the strawberry's doing. It's another lemon tree that was doing well, but I think it died maybe during the winter. It might come back and have leaves. I don't know. And this is our strawberry patch I'm making. Well, I made. We got some strawberries. I took some off, but I always get some strawberries on there every day. You know? Got a bunch of strawberries. I need to come back and separate these. Yep, yep, yep. So it's going. That's our blueberries there. Blueberry plants. Yep, yep, yep.